Before we start, let's take a look at the tools you will need. 1. A rain gauge. Hopefully, you already have your 4 inch plastic rain gauge that you use for Kokoras. If not, you can find a link to pick one up on our website, www.kokoras.org. 2. A piece of half inch or 3 quarter inch plywood that has been painted white. The National Weather Service suggests a size of 16 inches by 24 inches. However, as long as it is at least 16 inches by 16 inches, you should be able to get an accurate measurement. But no matter what size it is, it must be painted white to avoid heat absorption. 3. A ruler or a yardstick. Ideally, the measurements will be in inches with increments of tenths of an inch. That should keep you from having to convert any measurements. 4. A snow swatter. You can use a fly swatter or spatula. We'll go over what you need this for later. Place your snow measurement board on the ground where snow is not likely to drift. You can use some of the same tips you learned when placing your rain gauge, such as make sure there are no obstructions around, like trees or buildings, that would prohibit the snow from falling. A good general rule is to try to keep the board twice as far away as an obstruction is tall. If there is no such place in your measuring location, try to pick the most open area available. It's also a good idea to mark the location of your snow measurement board with a flag or reflector. Otherwise, it might be hard to find when it comes time to measure. Remove your funnel from the top of your rain gauge as well as the inner measuring cylinder. This will allow snow to fall in the main cylinder so that you can later measure the amount of water that is in the melted snow. Now all we need is for it to snow. Kokoraz recommends that you go ahead and do other things in the meantime, instead of actively waiting for it to snow, like this poor guy.